is up guys today I'll be showing you this amazing tweak that is amazing because it will give your iPod a lot more protection from I don't know probably not thieves but your friends I guess so basically this has nothing to do with it so when you lock your device instead of having the average passcode where you put in one two three four or zero 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 or whatever your password is instead of that you can draw your password we that is not my password by the way Mine's is something nice and simple. A smiley face. No, I'm kidding. Mine's is just a line. That's it. I keep it simple. But if you want to get more complicated, that's your... Yeah, 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 yeah. So you go into settings, and you find where it says stride. It has a cool little icon. And it gives you a bunch of options. Enable stride is obvious. If you want to disable it, you won't have a passcode. Well, at least not this type of passcode. Enable it skip pin entry so that's not my problem whether you want to type in or put in two different types of passcodes which if you were to disable this I would have to type in my pin passcode along with the stride passcode which is whatever you want to put it. Multi-shape passcode basically just means that if you want to make it a house it will let you do that but if you want to keep it simple and put like dots or something that's also possible Recognition strictness. Put it all the way up, you will barely be able to guess your own passcode. Keep it in the middle. That's where I like it. It's not too complicated because your fingers will like move around a little bit and you won't get your passcode if it's like a line, then you could do that, but you won't get your passcode exactly every single time. So mine's was right here and I will keep it there. And to change passcode, you have to draw it three times. So this is mine. and my passcode is set. Then you can test your passcode before you use it in case you get locked out of your device. That would suck. And that works. That works. That works. But you can go into recognition strictness and all of a sudden you have to get it like that. If you were to put that, nope. If you were to put that, nope. If you were to put that, nope. So you get the point. I keep it there. And a couple more things is hide passcode override. So if I were to keep this off, I would find that when I slid this, I would have this little keypad here. Most people wouldn't see that, but if they were to press it, all of a sudden my device unlocks by itself. I don't know why they put that in. Skip slide to unlock is basically this. I find it very annoying, but you might like it. There's no slide to unlock, unless you go back. And yeah. The last thing is, change clock text. See how it says, haha, you can't draw my pass? Which I thought was hilarious, even though it isn't. You can see that I could type in my, I don't know, head? That makes no sense. Whatever. Um, and it would say that. Haha, you can't draw my head. Yeah, that's weird. But yeah, that is my video for today. And the thing is called Stride. You probably already know how to install it. Just go in Cydia, type in Stride, and so on and so forth. And I'm not going to do that because Cydia takes forever. Thank you for watching, and that is my video.